His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sikhir Palace the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament, Rashid Al Talabi Al Alami, and his accompanying delegation. Mr. Al Alami conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco and his wishes for the pros progress and prosperity of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the Moroccan Parliament Speaker and asked him to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, wishing Morocco progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the strong brotherly relations between the two countries and the progress witnessed by both countries in various fields. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance relations in order to serve the common interest of both countries and praised the cooperation and exchange of expertise between the legislative authorities of the two countries, hailing the democratic achievements made by Morocco in its parliamentary march. His Majesty noted the importance of such visits, which facilitate parliamentary and legal expertise in boosting cooperation and coordination at regional and international levels and in serving Arab and Islamic countries. He hailed Morocco's support for Bahrain and its role in protecting the issues of Arab and Islamic nations to maintain security, stability and peace in the region. He also expressed pride and appreciation of the role of the Moroccan community in Bahrain and their contributions in the kingdom's progress. His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's parliamentary achievements and said that Bahrain had succeeded in implementing a parliamentary experience and created a sophisticated model for the practice of democracy based on the foundations of the law and constitution through the role of both the representatives and Shura councils. He then discussed with the delegation recent regional and international developments and topics of mutual interest. His Majesty wished the Moroccan delegation success during their visit and in exploring Bahrain's parliamentary achievements. For their part, the, for his part, the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's keenness to boost cooperation between the two countries in all fields, especially in the parliamentary sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa at Qudaybiya Palace. Their Royal Highnesses commended the royal directives of His Majesty the King to meet the aspirations of the people, affirming that these directives will be implemented to improve government services. They reviewed the current economic situation and challenges, as well as the government's plan to deal with them, and discussed the status of ongoing projects, confirming the government's commitment to providing, without delay, the best quality health, therapeutic, housing and educational services. The meeting also reviewed other issues related to the national economy and ways of doubling efforts to enhance market competitiveness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today. Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh, along with several members of the representatives and Shura Councils and senior state officials in the presence of the former representative Council Speaker Khalifa Al Dahrani. The Prime Minister affirmed that MPs are partners as well as monitors in the government, which is keen to ensure that they successfully fulfill their national role in order to contribute to the development of the national democratic life. He highlighted the importance of enhancing cooperation between the government and parliament and of unifying efforts in order to meet the needs and demands of the people. He urged caution when dealing with economic development, saying that each party of the economic system must bear their responsibility in driving development and in facing all challenges imposed by the global economic status. His Royal Highness expressed the necessity of unifying efforts to support commercial and economic progress and affirmed the government's determination to provide the necessary facilities for attracting investment and facilitating the work of businessmen. The audience expressed appreciation and gratitude for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's role in consolidating governmental parliamentary cooperation, commending the attention paid to the economic sector in order to achieve sustainable development. He said, they said meeting with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister kept the channels of communications open for discussing national issues.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Following the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary-General made a statement outlining the issues discussed during the meeting. In implementing the Royal Directives, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister ordered intensified visits to villages, greater follow-up on the needs of their residents and more inspections of their service projects. He welcomed the newly appointed Minister of Shura and Representative Council's Affairs, Ghanim al Bu'anin, and Minister of Information Affairs, Ali al Rumehi, congratulating them for the royal trust in them and wishing them success in performing their duties. In accordance with the principles of accountability and responsibility, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister assigned the Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, to investigate three issues, namely the delay in implementing the King Hamid University Hospital program, the delay to the waste recycling project, and the delay in executing a number of telecoms infrastructure projects. The Prime Minister directed the Housing Ministry to carry out a feasibility study for a housing project to serve the Helat al Abd al Saleh village and surrounding area and to allocate a suitable piece of land for the project. The cabinet meeting discussed a number of legislations and regulations aimed at developing the investment environment and ensuring a liberal economic atmosphere that were presented by the Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Accordingly, the Cabinet approved a draft resolution regarding regulations of investment in state-owned lands and companies and two draft laws to issue a competitiveness encouragement and protection law and a personal data protection law. After that, the Cabinet discussed memoranda and issues listed on the agenda. The Cabinet took note of a report presented by the Minister of Labour and Social Development on the results of four specialised exhibitions held by the Ministry in 2015 to present job opportunities for Bahrainis in the private sector. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the doubling of efforts to provide new job opportunities for citizens that suit their professional level and academic qualifications. The Cabinet approved restructuring the administrative and technical staff of the Future Generations Reserve Councils and approved a draft law to accredit an agreement between Bahrain and Russia to transfer those convicted of crimes and sentenced to jail terms. The meeting also approved a memorandum of understanding between the government of Bahrain and the government of France regarding the goals and missions of the Alliance Française Institute in Bahrain and approved the government's response to two proposals presented by the Representatives' Council, one regarding the demolition and reconstruction of the Zain al-Abidin and al-Ali mosques in Manama, and the other on simplifying the procedures followed by citizens and government ministries and institutions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Goudaybia Palace the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament Rashid Al Talibi Al Alami and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mullah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to develop parliamentary cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries to enhance development achievements aimed at maintaining the unity of Arab countries and their people. He said that cohesion between Arab countries is vital to maintaining the power to resist all threats to their security and stability and explained that current security and economic challenges require greater cooperation and coordination between Arab countries in the best interests of the Arab countries' people. He stressed the Kingdom's support of any initiatives to boost cohesion between Arab countries. 
His Royal Highness hailed Morocco's support of Bahrain regarding all measures taken to maintain the kingdom's security and stability and noted the strong brotherly ties and excellent cooperation and coordination between the kingdom and Morocco in many fields. For his part, the Moroccan speaker hailed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to enhance relations between Arab countries in order to maintain the Arab nation's stability. He affirmed Morocco's support of the Kingdom and its firm rejection of any interference of the Kingdom's domestic affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudebiya Palace a parliamentary delegation from Indonesia, led by the chairman of the Bari Indonesian Friendship Group, Asep Mausol. His Royal Highness welcomed the delegation, praising bilateral ties and discussing ways of enhancing cooperation and coordination in various fields. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen cooperation with Indonesia, highlighting its economic and political position and its role in supporting Arab and Islamic issues at regional and international levels. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of strengthening parliamentary cooperation between the two countries and the need for more investment and commercial trade. The Indonesian parliamentary delegation praised His Royal Highness's keenness to enhance bilateral cooperation, highlighting the strong ties between the two countries and voicing hope for more progress and prosperity between the two countries, especially in parliamentary cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, attended yesterday evening the awards ceremony for the second annual Bahrain Awards for Entrepreneurship, celebrating the achievements of Bahrain's entrepreneurs. His Royal Highness highlighted that innovation and creativity were vital components of boosting employment opportunities for all Bahrain, saying the government's efforts to facilitate entrepreneurship underlines Bahrain's firm commitment to promoting the foundations of hope and opportunity for all. He stressed Bahrain's keen Bahrain had identified economic diversification as a key driver of growth and employment opportunities over a decade ago, and that this recognition had laid the groundwork for a new phase of economic reforms that prioritised the role of the private sector in driving economic growth and providing entrepreneurial opportunities. The Crown Prince added Bahrain's recognizes that its economic and fiscal reforms must continue to progress at a swift pace in order to continue to provide the economic environment that fosters opportunities and enables sustainable growth. The chairman of Tamkin, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, noted that the Bahrain Award for Entrepreneurship highlights the kingdom's achievements in fostering entrepreneurial opportunities. He said the award winners would benefit from a range of development and funding programs, business coaching schemes, office space and growth plans. He explained that the award is in line with the efforts of Tamkin and its partners to foster a business environment within Bahrain that is beneficial to entrepreneurs and SMEs. This year's winners are Alia al Mu'ayyid from Nutrition Consultancy Micro Enterprise of the Year, Khalifa al Manai of Manai Technologies Facilitations Startup of the Year, Dr. Lamia's Lazel Denta. Dental Center, SME of the Year, Mohammed 
Rafia of Medal Cables Enterprise of the Year with International Footprint. Hala Al Moyayid of Al Moyayid Contracting Group Sustainable Business Award. Ahmed Mansour of Ahali Group Lifetime Achievement Award. And Dr. Sara Al Rifi of London Breast Care Centre Female Entrepreneur of the Year. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, met at Gudebia Palace today. Morocco's Speaker of the House of Representatives, Rashid Talbi Alami, and his accompanying delegation. During the meeting, His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain has prioritized economic and political reform since the start of His Majesty King Hamid's development program, and that empowering and increasing opportunities for citizens and core are core components of the Kingdom's development goals. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted that the ceremony for the Bahrain Awards for Entrepreneurship, which took place in the Kingdom this week, highlights and rewards citizens' positive contributions to increasing innovation and economic development within the Kingdom. His Royal Highness welcomed the delegation to Bahrain and highlighted the historic bilateral ties that exist between Bahrain and Morocco. He stressed the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation and welcomed the role of parliamentary delegations' visits in enhancing relations. His Royal Highness also praised the Bahraini Legislative Authority's role in enriching democratic activity within the Kingdom and its active participation in decision-making. He stressed that the promotion of cultural awareness within society undermines the efforts of those who seek to promote violent extremism. His Royal Highness went on to say that the Arab world has long shared strong and proud values which continue to, the present, to be present in today's world and welcomed the role of Arab parliaments across the region in adopting important measures that confront and combat violent extremism. His Royal Highness extended his greetings to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, son of the late 
King His Majesty King Hussein II and wished the Kingdom of Morocco further prosperity. On behalf of the visiting delegation, Mr. Alami expressed appreciation for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and expressed interest in the Kingdom's development across a wide range of areas. He also expressed appreciation for the warm welcome received by the delegation and praised the successful outcomes of the delegation's visit to Bahrain. BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today in his office at the BDF headquarters the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament Rashid Al Talibi Alami and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mullah and a number of the Representatives Council and member of the Representatives Council Abdurrahman Bouali. During the meeting, the BDF Commander-in-Chief hailed the deep historic and wide-ranging ties between Bahrain and Morocco. Topics of mutual interest were discussed during the meeting and the two sides exchanged commemorative gifts. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Mulla, held official talks with his Moroccan counterpart Rashid Al Talibi Al Alami and a delegation of Moroccan MPs currently on an official visit to Bahrain. The talks covered joint cooperation and the deep-rooted relations between the two countries. Mr. Al Mulla cited the level of bilateral ties, asserting the significance of boosting parliamentary cooperation and coordination and benefiting from each other's expertise in parliamentary and legislative work. He affirmed a keenness to activate the role of joint friendship committees in the areas of political, parliamentary and economic development to safeguard the two countries' security and stability. For his part, the Moroccan speaker praised the solid historic fraternal bonds between the leaderships, governments and peoples of the two countries and said his visit aimed to explore and bolster the positive and fruitful mutual cooperation between the two countries. Mr. Al Alami reiterated his country's firm support for Bahrain, praising the ongoing democratic reform and socio-economic and political advancement of both countries, which enable them to overcome the obstacles and challenges of extremism and terrorism, thanks to the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI Ibn Al Hussein of Morocco. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part in the fifth extraordinary session of the Organization of the Islamic Conference on the state of Palestinian and Al Quds being held in Jakarta, Indonesia, under the theme United ju for, just, for a Just Solution. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the state of Palestine has all the elements of a state, of a government and people as well as well-defined land, despite attempts to destroy this, to distort this fact. He noted what was happening in Al-Quds, from drilling operations to the displacement of Palestinians from their homes, was sufficient to demonstrate the measures taken by the Israeli occupation authorities in their bid to empty Al-Quds of the Palestinian people. He reiterated Bahrain's deep concern over this critical situation in the occupied Palestinian territories as a result of the long-standing Israeli military occupation and illegal practices and stressed the special sanctity of Al-Quds to the followers of the three monotheistic religions and its great significance for all Muslims, calling on the international community to assume its responsibility toward the issue of Palestine. A declaration issued by the Fifth Extraordinary Islamic Summit stressed the importance of the issues of the State of Palestine as the central cause of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and an end to the Israeli occupation of the Arab and Palestinian territories occupied since 1967, including Al-Quds, which is a constant demand of the Islamic nation. The summit supported holding an international peace conference to end the Israeli occupation as a key step towards ending the Israeli occupation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Brotherly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil Al Jubair. The meeting came on the sidelines of the fifth extraordinary session of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, OIC, recently held in the Indonesian capital, Jakarta, to discuss the Palestinian state and the holy city of Jerusalem.
The meeting reviewed the strong historic bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries and people, as well as the issue tabled for discussion on the agenda of the 138th session of the GCC Ministerial Council to be held on March 9th. They also discussed the issue listed on the agenda of the 145th ministerial level ordinary session of the Arab League scheduled for March 10th and exchanged views on the mechanisms and procedures resulting from the GCC classification of Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. The meeting also touched on Iranian interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries and how to stop such meddling as well as issues of common concern. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed also met with his Egyptian counterpart Sameh Chukri and reviewed the strong bilateral ties between the two brotherly countries and issues on the agenda of the 145th ministerial level ordinary session of the Arab League scheduled for Thursday. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized the Minister of Energy Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza to open the 12th Middle East Geology Science Conference Geo 2016. The conference was held under the theme Geoscience Energy of Tomorrow and was attended by a large number of officials and specialists in the field of geology and oil industry. The minister opened the conference session with a speech where he thanked his Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness to and continuous support for such activity under His Royal Highness's auspices. He lauded the development witnessed in the number of quality of Middle East geoscience technology conferences held and the role such conferences play in exchange of knowledge, experience and practices in the Middle East and the world. The minister added that the oil industry is in need for increase in the level of cooperation between the international oil companies and the hosting countries. The minister made reference to a number of oil and gas projects that were executed in 2015, adding that the National Council for Oil and Gas strives to make Bahrain a centre for attracting conferences and exhibitions related to oil and gas and to groom the national cadre skill in such a field. Public prosecutor Dr. Ali bin Fadil al Bu'inain received today the Turkish Chief Public Prosecutor Mehmet Akacha. The two sides signed an MOU concerning the judiciary and exchange of expertise. Dr. Ali bin Fadil al Bu'inain said that the MOU aimed to enhance judicial cooperation and coordination as well as the exchange of studies and expertise.